Hello! I wanted to talk about some surgery side effects, plastic surgery side effects. I went to go see my doctor the other day and I had a couple of concerns of things that I've been feeling. He let me know that it's going to be permanent, that the side effects that I'm experiencing will likely be permanent. I don't believe him because I feel like I'm still healing, but the biggest one that's probably is going to be permanent that I hope isn't but doesn't really bother me that much is the top of my head is completely numb. The surgical line was right here and they cut all the way down to the side in order to peel my face off so they can chisel my skull. When you do that, you remove all the muscles and like all the nerves and everything in order to do surgery procedure in the forehead. I got my orbital thingy reduced, like the brow bone. And then uh, ever since then, I haven't been able to feel the top of my head. It's only like the top of my head. If I bump my head like under my desk or something, I'm not gonna feel it. I honestly think that's really cool, but I feel like I should be scared that I'm never gonna feel anything on the top of my head. Not, it's not a deal breaker at all. Like I still have hair and everything. Everything's totally fine. I just can't feel anything. And as you can see while I'm talking, uh, my bottom lip is still healing. I talked to my doctor about that. He said it should go back to normal but it is a little bit hard to talk and like hard to smile. I'm sure you can like totally tell like when I'm talking, mm. I look like this, but it, it, it just doesn't work. I can't bring my bottom lip down that far that much. And it's just super, it's super uncomfortable, but it should get back to normal, I hope. That's what he said. Another weird side effect that doesn't really matter is my nose. I can't really lift it up. Oh, that's my dog barking. It's stuck in this position. I think that should heal back to normal eventually, which is super weird, but it's like stuck. I don't like it. Overall, I'm happy with the result, but another weird thing is ever since I got my trachea shape or the Adam's apple removed, I lost some of my um, vocal pitch, if that makes any sense. Like when I'm talking to my dogs, I do my dog voice where I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. and then like they come running to me. But like that feels a little bit weird to me to do that. Definitely like they cut really close to the vocal box maybe, or like, I don't know what happened, but like my voice is not the same anymore. It's slightly different, but it, it's annoying. Overall, I think I am very happy with the results. Uh, it, it, it's, my face is still swollen, it's still like very round and I can't talk normal as you can see, but I'm, I'm, I'm really happy with it. I'm really happy to the point where people are, are stealing my face and claiming that it's them and then they're going on like dating apps. One of them was Grindr and somebody messaged me saying, oh, you're on Grindr? And I'm like, no, I'm not, I'm not on Grindr. <laughs> Whoever that is, you're being catfish. And that's happened multiple times. People have DM me saying like, oh, are you on this website? Like, no, that's not me. That's somebody else like claiming to be me. So I think the results are good and then other people are like, they like the way that I look. Right now, I don't look flattering, but like this is like early in the morning, so I don't care. And I just wanted to share this. Okay. <laughs> Thank you guys for listening. I am out of here. Goodbye.